in the other steps besides the hatchery, I mean, how does the producer go about evaluating the process and then making the improvements that they need to remove the antibiotics? Well, I can, I can tell you how, how we moved through this. So we uh, took these four areas, and, and I mentioned the, the hatchery piece. Uh, actually, kind of the easiest uh, component to, to, to tackle was the growth promotion. Just take, you just take those uh, products out of your feed. Uh, so, so, so I'm going to say it in, in this way. Uh, feed, uh, vaccination programs, uh, management uh, type activities. Um, so, so feed, uh, we took some stuff out and put some stuff in. Uh, we took the uh, antibiotic component out uh, and put in uh, probiotics, prebiotics kind of products. In the last uh, five years, we've uh, increased the amount of those products we use by 5x. Uh, and we are still working to try to understand that. Five years ago, I'm going to say seven years ago, if you asked me my opinion of those products, I would have been very uh, skeptical. I would have said, no, I think uh, they generally don't do much. Today, I believe they have a place and have some value. I'm not sure we got them. I'm not sure we got the right value yet in all the places we're constant. Somebody asked me earlier what, what amount of our operation do we use uh, uh, prebiotics and probiotics, and currently it's 100% of our operations. <music>